I'm Dylan Slagle. I'm a photographer with the Carroll County Times, and in this video I'm going to detail the making of a pinhole camera out of a carving pumpkin. This pinhole camera is going to shoot 4x5 color film, so I'll need a pumpkin of suitable size to fit the film inside. The film is going to be in film holders from an old speed graphic press camera. Um, that needs to fit inside the hollowed out pumpkin, and there also needs to be a hole cut in the front of the pumpkin. In front of that, there's going to be a thin piece of aluminum that has the pinhole drilled in it. The outside of the pumpkin is going to need to be painted black. Black spray paint should make it light tight and keep light from fogging the film. The pinhole itself is going to be drilled into a piece of aluminum um, cut from a can with, using a quilting needle with a diameter of 45 one hundredths of a millimeter. I'm uh, measuring this with a micrometer and also sanding around the hole to make sure that I have a smooth round hole which would be critical to getting sharp pictures. Just to make sure there's no light leaks, a little bit of black foil will be put inside the camera as well as a piece of styrofoam that the film holder can rest against to keep the film flat. Now the styrofoam is actually going to position the film holder about four inches from the pinhole aperture and that's actually going to give the pumpkin camera a focal length of about four inches. Um, using some electrical tape I'm going to fix the pinhole aperture onto the opening on the front of the camera. Um, I'll also use a small piece of tape to make a shutter for that. Um, I'm going to use some foil and little bit of tape to make sort of a baffle around the lid of the pumpkin and what that'll do is when I close the pumpkin and put the film inside it'll keep light from leaking in um, from outside and fogging the film. Once I got the camera completed um, I was able to use the size of the pinhole uh, its diameter was about 45 one hundredths of a millimeter and the focal length uh, which is the distance from the film to the hole uh, using that I was able to determine the camera had an f-stop of about f240 um, using that in conjunction with the film speed, I was able to work out uh, exposures for taking pictures. Um, most of the pictures I took uh, outside in full daylight had an exposure of about two, three seconds. Um, some of the pictures took a little longer, some were shorter. Um, you'd make the exposure by actually lifting a piece of tape uh, that was covering the pinhole in front of the pumpkin and uh, make your exposures that way. I brought a changing bag into the field with me and uh, that gave me a dark place to change the film in between each exposure. Uh, during the course of the project I probably took about 12 pictures with the camera.